Osigo, near Biarritz in the southwest of France, is famed for its stunning beaches, making it a popular tourist destination, especially for surfers. These waters have hosted world-class surfing events for many years, and it's regarded as one of Europe's top surfing locations. Yet, what brought Transworld Sport to this part of France wasn't the surfers, but the chance to meet up with a man who gets his thrills in the air, rather than on the water. This is freestyle motocross star Thomas Pages. The 28-year-old Frenchman has enjoyed a stellar 2013, winning the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour Championship for the first time. We were keen to find out more about this daredevil of the FMX world. Hello, Transworld Sports. I'm Tom Pages. Come on in. Here's my bike, my Yamaha 250cc. This is the bike that I used to win the X Fighters event in Madrid and also the X Fighters Series Championship. So it's pretty special. With a background in BMX and motocross, Pages first got into freestyle motocross in 2005 along with his brother. When he's not competing in events around the world, he spends his time training at a compound just a short drive from his house. When I was younger, I always used to want to beat my brother. As we both progressed, we pushed each other on to work even harder. It was all about who would train the most and who would sacrifice going out with their friends to train even more. When we started out in FMX, we were just amateurs who wanted to have fun. Tom's journey from an enthusiastic FMX amateur to world champion took time. Initially, he was more focused on the innovative side of the sport rather than its competitive element. In 2007, two years after taking up freestyle motocross, the Frenchman made his X Fighters debut. It took years before he began winning events on the World Tour and his first victory came in Munich only last year. After seven years of intense work, I won for the first time. Seven years of work to finally get a win. It was tough, but that was a big moment because for a while, you wonder if you're ever going to succeed. This is one of my most important bits of memorabilia, my helmet from my first X Fighters victory in Munich. I won wearing this helmet. You see these words, brother's trip, that refers to me and my brother, my first win in the Red Bull series. That's a very important memory. If the victory in Munich gave Pages the belief that he belonged at the highest level, his start to the 2013 season was confirmation that he would be one of the top contenders for the X Fighters series crown. However, it was under difficult circumstances that he won the first event of the year in Mexico. A week earlier, his friend and fellow X-Fighters rider Aigo Sato died in Japan following a crash in training. I put on a good show, but the sweet taste of victory wasn't there. It didn't feel right. I felt like I wanted to be there to show my support for the FMX family, but it really did feel like a hollow victory. Sato's tragic death was a stark reminder of the inherent dangers surrounding this sport. At that first event of the year in Mexico, riders wore clothing which bore Sato's name, and throughout the season, Pages competed in an outfit bearing an image of his Japanese friend. 
His accident was a difficult time because it was followed by a period when you're asking yourself why you're doing this sport. You go through different phases, feelings and a lot of different emotions. And there was a point when I chose to go on. Why? I don't know. I have his picture on my jersey because then he's always with us. Things can be complicated. Either you choose to ride or you don't. I personally chose to ride and I ride in memory of my friend. He's with me. Pages has certainly honoured his fallen friend this year. He finished on the podium in each of the five stops on the World Tour, following up his win in Mexico with a third place finish in Dubai, before taking second at a weather-affected event in America. The X Fighters World Tour has been running since 2007, and along with the X Games, the events are the most prestigious in freestyle motocross. The sport has grown into a truly global spectacle in recent years, and this year's five events were staged across three different continents in front of sellout crowds. The organisers have put a lot of work into promoting this sport and arranging events in unique locations. There's great TV coverage, it looks spectacular, and we're doing a show that people always want to come and see. In X Fighters competitions, each rider is given 90 seconds to impress, with judges scoring them on the difficulty and execution of their tricks. In a sport like FMX, it's often the case of the more difficult a trick, the more danger involved. Of course, we all have fears. We don't want to fall and get injured, but fear can help. You want to avoid injury, and that makes you train harder and become stronger technically, so that you can execute your trick perfectly. Although Pages has long been considered one of the most talented riders around, it wasn't until last year that he first challenged for the overall title. Now in his late 20s, he admits that a more competitive attitude has been the catalyst for his recent success. Yep. There are a few things that made me decide to focus more on the championship rather than on freestyle. Before, I was more carefree, living one day at a time and just working on tricks for fun. Then I saw that I had an opportunity, and I realized that I was turning 28 in 2013. I could see that I was getting older, as is the case with many athletes. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. Tom's extra focus in training saw him produce consistent results over the season, and by the time he qualified for the final for the year's last event in Madrid, a first world title was already assured. Yet, instead of easing off, Pages produced one of his most impressive and daring displays in the Spanish capital's iconic Las Ventas bullring. He nailed his special flip, in which he performs a mid-air backflip above his seat, before introducing a new trick to FMX fans, the Flare Tsunami. His performance saw him seal the 2013 Tour crown in style, with a second victory of the season. In an ideal world, what would be the best 90 seconds possible on a bike? I would have to say, if you look at Madrid 2013, that was pretty close to it. I did everything I possibly could in Madrid. I brought out all the most difficult tricks, and I was able to do them all. Pages spends a large part of the winter months training with his brother Charles, who occasionally competes on the X-Fighters circuit. Tom trains six days a week for up to four hours a day, developing and practicing new tricks as he seeks to come up with new ways to wow audiences and judges alike. 
Next year, I'm planning to take more risks and not focus so much on perfect runs, but instead a bit more on innovative performances. I don't know if I'm going to be able to achieve that, but that's my goal. Next season will provide an even bigger test for Pages. As defending world champion, he'll be the man that everyone will be trying to beat. Only one rider, Nate Adams, has won the X-Fighters World Championship on more than one occasion, and this year saw four different winners in five events, a measure of how open the competition has become. It has always been difficult for me to deal with pressure, but my experience means I'm better at it now. So why not try to get some medals at the X Games next year? And why not try to win some more Red Bull X Fighter events? I've done it once, so I'm happy with that, but I'm going to keep on trying to do it. The only real pressure I'm going to feel is what pressure I put on myself. Having reached the peak of his sport in 2013, Thomas Pages will be determined to continue flying high in the years ahead.